I did have a lot of self-esteem issues growing up. Um, at around 12, I had really started to feel the pressures of you know, being the youngest sibling of very high achieving siblings and um, also started to feel a lot of body image pressure and developed a pretty terrible eating disorder when I was about 12. So when I got to the University of Maryland, I was excited and scared, you know, to be leaving home. Um, but unfortunately, at 18, with a wide variety of self-esteem issues, I wasn't ready at all and got myself into a really dark place. For me, my main focus was on this idea of imperfection and that if it wasn't going to be perfect, then it, it wasn't worth doing at all. It might have something super similar. So someone's one, one of the main things that someone had said to me was, you can't change the first thought and there might always be this negative thought and this insecurity that comes to your mind but you can change what the second and third are going to be um, which was a huge game changer for me and suddenly i started changing around my thinking and as soon as that negative thought would come i would try and counter it with a positive one the writing on the body to me it has this raw element to it um, where People are really internalizing and understanding what's going on in their heads. And the idea of physically turning it around from, let's say, back to front or turning your arms from front to back really allows people to feel like they're actually turning it around. When I got to college, I brought a lot of the negative feelings and feelings of inadequacy and that I just wasn't good enough. It felt like everyone made friends faster than I did and that I still didn't belong. I found out about the Turn It Around project uh, through a lot of my classmates who I admired and who I felt were strong and confident. Seeing them talk about their vulnerabilities really inspired me to get comfortable talking about mine. So my statement is uh, the negative affirmation is I'm afraid I'm too much, but the positive affirmation is but I'm proud. Uh, so when I was in high school, I was outspoken and was ostracized for my opinions and how I felt. And in college, it took me a long time to get comfortable with that it was okay for me to have an unpopular opinion. Um, so I was teaching myself to be comfortable with it, but I feel like my picture was really the culmination of, okay, I'm comfortable and I definitely want to be able to share my opinion and I want to hear other people's. I spent so much of my life thinking that I was not inherently a good person or that, or that there was something defective about me. Um, and as a result, being able to have changed my own thoughts and then get to help other people to do that same thing has been absolutely incredible.